everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. In today's episode of Investigation, we'll take a look at number 12 on the 2023 AMC 10. So this question says, when the roots of the polynomial p of x are removed from the number line, what remains is it, the union of 11 disjoint open intervals. And how many of these intervals is p of x positive? Uh, and the last sentence just says, there are two different versions. Um, because MA was prevent uh, was trying to prevent leakage, but we all know that did not work very well. Anyway, so this problem says, first of all, let's figure out what the roots are. The roots are whenever each of these, they're nice enough to give us in the factored form. So when each of these, let's say if X minus one is equal to zero, then P of one is going to be zero times something. We don't care about that something is, so that is equal to zero. So all of the roots are in such forms. So these are basically telling us what our roots are. So what our roots are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And if all of these terms are positive, let's say if we take x equals 11, then the overall expression surely would be positive. So above 10, the expression is positive. And if we uh, shift from interval above 10 to some number between nine and 10, then the only part that flips the sign is going to be x minus 10 to the 10th power, which is going to be, now it will be something, let's say 9.5 minus 10 to the 10th power, or x minus 10, where x minus 10 is going to be negative. So x minus 10 flips the sign. However, because it's raising to an even number, uh, even power, it will be non-negative. And it is only ne uh, zero at x equals 10. So everywhere else, it will still maintain its positive. Therefore, between nine and 10, between x between nine and 10, p of x is still positive. However, if we are on an odd power, x minus nine to the ninth power, for example, we are going to have to switch its sign because eight minus nine to the power of nine is going to be negative. Anything less, uh, x anything less than nine, that term will be negative. So every time we have that, we will have to flip the power. So minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus minus, and we just have to count the number of segments that is positive, which is six, or answer choice D. That will be it for number 12. Catch you in the next video. Remember, if you do not understand any part of this video, or if you just have a general question, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I will help you.